The tragic death of Philip Seymour Hoffman, the 46-year-old Oscar winner, brilliant actor, found dead in his Manhattan apartment yesterday from an apparent overdose of heroin. ABC's Ryan Smith is outside that building with the latest. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, George. Well, the chief medical's office, the medical examiner's office in the next few hours is expected to reveal the exact cause of Philip Seymour Hoffman's death. But here outside his West Village home in Manhattan, many are stunned at the turn of events that ended the life of an acting legend. And Mr. Hoffman, right here, sir. Philip Seymour Hoffman, the 46-year-old Oscar-winning actor and Broadway veteran, found dead in his West Village apartment Sunday morning after failing to pick up his three young children from former girlfriend, costume designer Mimi O'Donnell Sunday morning. It was screenwriter David Katz who went to his apartment and discovered his body. New York police telling ABC News Hoffman was found alone on the floor of his bathroom with heroin nearby in an envelope and a hypodermic needle protruding from his arm. He has multiple films coming out this year, and just a few weeks ago, he was at the Sundance Film Festival telling reporters he was thrilled to be a part of his latest acting project, God's Pocket, seen here in one of his last interviews. Someone's asking you to be involved in something that's truly personal, you know, and those are the projects you want to be a part of. Drug addiction, an issue that haunted him since college, resurfaced last year. In a 2006 interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, Hoffman spoke of why he stopped. I was 22 and I got panicked for my life. The actor stayed sober for 23 years before relapsing, admitting to TMZ to snorting heroin and checking himself into rehab in May of 2013. Sadly, a transcendent talent in the prime of his career, now gone too soon. You know, friends and family have left small bouquets of flowers outside of his apartment building here in Manhattan. And his family speaking out as well, saying they are devastated by the loss of their beloved Phil and thanking everyone for the outpouring of love and support that they have received. Robin? All right there, Ryan. Thank you.